What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first video of 2020. In today's video, I think I'm just going to reflect on my 2019 reading year and kind of what my goals and plans are for 2020. I guess I should start off by saying I did not complete my 2019 Goodreads challenge. I had a number set of I think 52 which kind of makes me a little sad I wasn't able to read 52 books. I think I read like 48 or 50 so I was close but I didn't I didn't reach it. This year though I've decided to lower it by two so my reading goal for 2020 is 50 books. Hopefully that's a number that I can easily achieve or I guess not easily, but a more obtainable number maybe than 52. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing it by ear at this point. I feel like I spent the majority of 2019 in a reading slump or just finding it really hard to consistently read. It was it was just so odd. I, I definitely think I averaged, I think, three books a month, four books a month. On the rare occasion, you know, like five books was, whoo, that was like a good, good reading month. I just found it really hard to stay consistent. I, it would usually be like one or two weeks a month where I would get all of my reading done that I was going to possibly get done for that month. And then the rest of the month, I just didn't read anything. I don't, I don't know how some of y'all are out there reading like a hundred plus books a year, like... I bow to you. Could not be me, ever. <laughs> I don't really know what to blame. Maybe I never was an avid reader. Maybe I just fooled myself into thinking I was. I do enjoy reading. I just, I don't read as consistently as others do. And I mean, I don't think that's a problem. I don't think. I'm really behind on a lot of titles. There were a lot of popular books that came out that I purchased, have not read. The Wicked King is still on my shelf. I have Girls of Paper and Fire, Four Crowns or Four Dead Queens or something like that. Furyborn is still on my shelf. Gemina, the second book in the Illumini Files is still on my shelf. So I just have a lot of books to get through on my shelf. I have noticed though that lately I think I find it easier to read ebooks on my phone. I think it's just because I can really pull that out anywhere. It's always in my purse rather than taking out a book for some reason. First of all, the fear of like damaging my book in my purse is scary. I think at work it's just easier. I do a lot of my reading. I think Probably 90% of my reading for 2019 was done at work. That was where I really maximized my time and read. Just because there was a lot of downtime or sometimes the attorney was out of the office and I finished all of my tasks and I could just read. I just get home and I take a nap and then like I wake up late so I'm trying to get everything done that I was supposed to get done in the day and then I just have no time for reading. I think ebooks are definitely going to be the way to go for me. 2019, kind of a crummy, kind of a crummy reading year. I don't really have anyone to blame other than myself. I didn't prioritize, or at least I didn't carve out time to read consistently. It was more whenever I was able to at work because I had nothing else to do. Hopefully though, 2020, hopefully it's gonna be better. Right off the bat, it's not looking great. It is January 4th and I've read zero books. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So I did a thing where at least I'm guaranteed to read one book a month. A few months ago on Twitter, I asked you to give me some reading prompts. For example, like read a book with a purple cover or read a book you've never heard of before. So. I got some suggestions. I picked the 12 that I liked most and I've assigned each to a certain month so that at least I can kind of kickstart my reading month and have one book assured that I can pick out and read because I also think that's kind of like my reading flaw is that I get so 
overwhelmed by all of the choices that I have on my shelf and then I start thinking well what if I buy this new book that's just coming out and I just overwhelm myself and I end up picking nothing at all because it's just easier than trying to pick one book because they all just sound so great also I guess backtracking I'm all over the place first video of the year I am planning on not doing any rereads in 2020 I'm pretty sure that's going to fail because the 10th anniversary of the Iron Face series is coming up, so I'm definitely going to want to do a reread of that. They're also coming out with new covers. Also, Maddie asked me to buddy read with her, so obviously going to do that. So, Iron Face exception. I'm planning on trying to do as little rereads as possible for 2020. I want to read new books. I want to get through all of the books on my shelf that I have not read. Fingers crossed that works out for me. Anyways, back to the prompts that I was talking about. So I've assigned each prompt to a month and I'm going to present them to you. So January's prompt is a read a book with your birthday twin. This was suggested by Emily over at M Likes Books. Me and Emily both were born on September 30th. So that's my birthday twin. Together with Emily and Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell, we are going to be buddy reading Starcrossed by Minnie Dark Darkie. Just picked up the book from the library. I am very excited. So that should be taken care of. I am at least guaranteed one book in the month of January. February, read a book with multiple colors on the cover. March, read a book with two crowns on the cover. April, read a book with an animal on the cover. May, read a book with flowers on the cover. June, read a book outside your comfort zone. And for this one, I'm tentatively planning to read like either a full romance book or something like historical fiction, just because those are definitely way outside my comfort zone, especially like true romance. I'm, I'm a little iffy, I'm excited, but I'm iffy. I still haven't decided which I'm going to do though. July, read a book set in the Southern Hemisphere. August, read a book with over 600 pages. Dear Lord, how I'm going to do that, I have no idea. So I think for that one, I'm also going to do an exception on my reread rule. I'm going to probably reread A Court of Mist and Fury just because that one I know I'm guaranteed I'm going to like and I can probably get through that so fast because I'm trash. September, read a book by an author with the same initials as you. My initials are GG. That one is probably going to be a little more tricky. We might have to fidget with that. October, read a book with 10 letters. November, read a book by an author you've never heard of before. That really could be anything. <laughs> December, read a book with a star on the cover. So like I said, at least I'm guaranteed to read 24 books in 2020 and I'm really excited to explore new reads. So that's really all I have for today. I'm sorry that it was messy and kind of all over the place. I kind of did this spontaneously. That's it to this video. My name is Elle. Good luck on your 2020 reading goals and I'll see you in next time's video.